Well, India's second quarter GDP, that is for the months July, August, September, will be announced at 5.30 p.m. today. A CNBC TVA poll sees the number coming in at 7%, 7.03 to be precise. The Reserve Bank's forecast stands at only 6.5%, though the governor uh, last month hinted that the growth could be stronger than the forecast. Now, with the U.S. GDP for the same months, July, August, September, coming in much stronger than expected at 5.2 versus market 5% and previous uh, estimate of 4.9, will we be in for an Indian surprise as well today? Joining me to discuss these are two economists, D.K. Joshi, the chief economist at Crystal Ratings Agency, and Upasana Bharadwaj of uh, Kotak Mahindra Bank. She'll be with us in a minute. Uh, uh, Mr. Joshi, thank you very much uh, for joining in. What's your sense? Uh, do you think uh, that we are going to leave the RBI six and a half far behind? Seven looks like a very tall number. I wasn't prepared for it. I think you're on mute. Yeah, we have an outlook of 6.7%, uh, which is in between the two. And okay. uh, there could be a surprise because uh, one, uh, the deflator is, uh, is, uh, is going to support uh, uh, higher GDP growth. Uh, mm -hmm. WPI had contracted in this uh, uh, in this quarter. Second, I think the the tax collections, the PMIs, PMIs incidentally were in the very uh, expansionary zone, strong expansionary zone. I think services was above sixty uh, in this quarter. The uh, manufacturing was uh, close to sixty. So that's a very strong performance of uh, of, of of these two segments. Uh, the monsoons were not very good, but the impact of monsoons will not be felt in the second quarter. That it will be felt in the in the third quarter. Uh, so I think overall, and even exports, uh, though they were uh, 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 were negative, but they, this uh, the domestic momentum seems to have thwarted the, the 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 headwinds that came from external external environment. And also, I think the the fact that U.S. is doing so well. Actually, our trade exposure to U.S. has increased over the last uh, couple of uh, uh, couple of months. So I think that that also might have helped uh, uh, helped a bit uh, uh, in in support. I mean, provided a little bit of support from the external environment as well. So I think overall, yes, I think I would tilt towards a positive surprise to to what the number that uh, we have factored in in our 6.4 percent GDP growth forecast for the for the uh, for the current fiscal year but let's let's see i think the the mystery will be solved in at at 5:30 okay. okay no i take your point uh, mr joshi everything was firing very well uh, i was looking back at the auto sales numbers and even for uh, september there seems to be a better than estimates uh, kind of reportage uh, corporate results uh, we at the end of the results the number of upgrades were more than the number of downgrades and uh, there are some brokerages which have even upped the uh, year-end uh, uh, EPS forecast by a smidge, you know, one percentage point or thereabouts. But still, the point is it's higher. Uh, but do you think exports can be a big spoiler? We have seen exports almost flat at $33 billion month after month. So actually, uh, Lata, what's happening is that India's over the last couple of years, our trade exposure to Asia is reducing. So we are exporting a share of exports to Asia have been falling consistently, and that to Europe and US have been rising. Now, if US and Europe are going to uh, lead the slowdown that is uh, going ahead, I think that then I think it will need to be watched whether I think uh, the uh, whether we'll be able to sustain our exports or not. What's really interesting is that although whether it is IMF or WTO, they all expect the economy to slow down uh, in the second half and also in 2024. But they are predicting a very strong bounce back in in goods trade. I think maybe I think the there is uh, there is going to be a shift from services towards goods in those economies, and that's going to trigger the goods trade cycle. So there are conflicting trends as far as I think the uh, or conflicting cues as far as the mm. external environment is concerned from a trade perspective. Uh, so there is there may be some support because of the goods cycle picking up. But again, as I said, I think the we are move we are more exposed to the economies which are likely to slow down. Asia is very resilient, but our trade expo ex exposure to Asia has uh, has come down. So I think yeah. it's it's very difficult to predict uh, uh, what's going to happen to exports because point. of these. Uh, yeah, yeah, a fair point. Actually, even on services, uh, the IT companies are not giving us very good news, but the GCCs, the unlisted space, seems to be doing uh, very well. 
but service exports also have plateaued. We have to uh, take that on board. Uh, Upasa Bhadwaj is with us. Th Upasa, thank you very much for rushing in back to office for my sake. Uh, boy, you know, our average number at, uh, at uh, poll number at 7% is pretty close, uh, is exactly where you are, uh, uh, your, your forecasting. What exactly has inspired you to up your forecast to 7 Lata, across the board, we've seen the high-frequency data. Uh, I'm talking about largely the industrial segment. We have the IIP data clearly uh, for the full quarter of September, and that is that have that has averaged much more than what we were expecting in the beginning of the quarter. Uh, from a 4.8 percent IIP average in the first quarter, at the moment, the Q2 quarter is about 7.4 percent, and it is across. We look at the capital goods segments. We look at infrastructure segment. Uh, as a matter of fact, even the consumer durables and non-durables segment within IIP, all of that is suggesting a reasonable, robust average for Q2 versus Q1. So over a period of time, the high-frequency data has been very supportive. Uh, the electricity utility segment, that also has seen a significant jump up. So I think, uh, uh, of course, the rains, the delayed rains in between patchy rains, that has uh, probably um, uh, is going to throw up a very strong mining number as well. So we we have seen that through the period, and hence we've revised our number. We were earlier at about 6.7%, already higher than what RBI was estimating, and we have revised this further up to 7%. Okay. Uh, although you have revised up your uh, uh, Q2 uh, GDP to 7%, your overall GDP is still at 6.5, which is very much the Reserve Bank number. You know, Reserve Bank has a 6.5 for the full year, in spite of a 6.5 for this quarter. Uh, which uh, is going to get reported. Uh, so, do you see an upside surprise to your own six and a half for the full year? Uh, yeah, there is a lot of uncertainty with Mr. Joshi was also talking about, I think. Uh, we will have to take a call on how the global slowdown in the next two quarters uh, really pan out. Because if we look at the global projections, the next two quarters seem to be suggesting a reasonable slowdown before some moderation or some revival could start uh, getting witnessed. So I think that is something which we'll have to, uh, you know, slowly adjust to. Yes, I agree, there could be a slight upside to the 6.5% for the second half, because largely the second half is where we are undershooting. And mm. uh, uh, particularly the March quarter, I would say, there could be some uh, upside to our 5.3% that we are looking at. Okay. Uh, well, actually, the festival season sales anecdotally seems to be much better uh, than what people were expecting. Uh, but then we will have to wait for the November numbers. We will get the auto sales tomorrow. So uh, I could be speaking too early. Uh, uh, Mr. Joshi, if you can guide us as to what exactly we should look at in the breakup, will the private final consumption number be the most important? Will manufacturing be the most important? Will trade hotels be? Just guide us as to how we should read the table. Well, I think my sense is, uh, reading from what the PMIs are suggesting, services should be the strongest uh, engine of, uh, of growth. I think that's my... And within that, I think the, the segments that you mentioned, trade, hotels, etc., I think these, these should be doing quite well. And then second, I think I would say construction activity. It did very well in the first quarter, and it would do... Uh, we expect it to do well in the second quarter as well. Mm -hmm. And construction... Uh, for two reasons, I think one, the real estate segment has been pretty strong, and then second, the government's uh, uh, capex, both from the center and the states, has uh, has continued. I think there's been front loading of the capex, and that also results in construction. And so, I think overall, uh, uh, these are the segments I would be looking at. I'm not too worried about agriculture at this juncture because, as I said, the impact of monsoons. Uh, erratic monsoons on agriculture will be felt in the third quarter. In the second quarter, I think we should be reasonably, uh, I mean, we should have reasonably healthy agriculture. But I think more worries uh, for agriculture on the on the second half of the of the year, not so much on the in, in the first half. So uh, okay. uh, yeah. apart from that, I think manufacturing the the manufacturing uh, uh, production has done quite well. And because the deflator is weak, so I would say yeah. that I think even manufacturing could do better than what it did last time. Okay, yeah, no, actually the GDP. October, actually the October imports were so strong. Uh, whether you looked at metals and ores or chemicals, uh, steel, I mean, obviously industry is ticking so well that imports are so strong. 
uh, that could be a cue. Uh, Vasa, right. you tell us what exactly is the column that we should concentrate on or you would concentrate on. And secondly, whether the second half could get disturbed by elections. Would CapEx slow down or anything? Any worries or any positives? You know, consumption goes up because of a subsidy. Yeah, so Lata, two things. One, I would agree that in terms of growth, services will be leading the pack amongst the three segments. Uh, but incrementally from Q1 to Q2, I would say that it is industrial segment, uh, which in this case, I'm including construction as well, because if you look at uh, the construction activity, it has held up well. So uh, I would look at each of these categories, largely uh, industrial, the components within that. Uh, I think within services, there is a little bit of slack I'm, uh, I'm expecting vis-a-vis -vis the first quarter. Uh, a part mm. of it could be base effect, but I do expect some moderation in the services vis-a-vis uh, -vis, uh, the first quarter. I think um, another important aspect to keep in mind would be how much is the nominal GDP growth for the second quarter. Um, mm. uh, last quarter, what we saw was in the first quarter, 8% growth. The deflator is something which was minimal at that point in time. Uh, now we have a relatively higher uh, you know, the CPI and a WPI composite uh, index, if we look at that much, it will be closer to the national. So oh, I think. Oh. oh, I think we are just uh, losing that connection. Uh, sorry, that's a pity. I will have Upas now we, uh, back after the numbers. Uh, we just couldn't hear the last few words. Uh, but uh, we will have to watch out for whether services are as strong as uh, they were in the first quarter. That, that was the point she was making. These are very important numbers, by the way, because just about everyone is upping India's GDP forecast. And if it indeed comes in at 7% vis-a-vis the Reserve Bank's just two months ago forecast of 6.5%, we have something very strong going on. And the uh, global factors, FPIs, could react very differently. So today's number is very important. An analysis of the number will follow, of course, tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching this. And Upasana, Mr. Joshi, thank you very much for uh, joining and telling us what we should watch out for in the numbers that are due at 5.30 today. Important numbers. Wrap up on Bazaar on that note. Chart Pastors, up next.